Hello Year 7 and welcome back to your music lessons. This is Lesson 7. This lesson will be on pitch and terminology. Before we get started, as usual, if you're looking for any of the previous videos on these lessons, they can be found on YouTube. In the top box on this slide, I have put a uh, URL, which you can copy and paste, uh, which will lead you to a playlist. And on that playlist has all my videos, which you can uh, look through. This is important because if you haven't completed any previous lessons, please go back and look over them uh, because having an understanding of previous lessons is required so you can effectively complete this lesson and lessons in the future. So for today's lesson, the lesson objective is to understand the term pitch and to apply the terminology I have learned to analysing a song. So we're learning a new term, pitch, but then also we've done a bit of um, analysing songs using the terminology that we've been learning. Uh, but I'd like us to keep working on it so we can really strengthen our understanding of the terminology and how to use it. So in the red box on the right, at the least today, you should be able to identify the difference between high and low pitches. Once you're able to do that, in the yellow box in the middle, I'm able to use the terminology I have learnt when describing a song. So you use the terminology to describe a song. And then once you're able to do that, the green box on the right, I'm able to analyze the emotional message of a song based on the terminology. So you analyze a song using the terminology, and then you describe what that terminology might have an effect on um, the emotional effect that might have on someone. So first, pitch. Now pitch is basically just what we use to describe high and low notes so if we hear something that sounds high we say it has a high pitch so for example birds chirping that is a high pitch birds chirp with a high pitch on the other hand thunder has a low rumbling pitch it sounds really low and deep so everything everything around has a pitch and you can describe it as having a high or a low pitch so for task one i'd like to write down and describe one thing that is high pitched and one thing that is low pitched. So it's one high pitched thing and one low pitched thing. This could be anything. For example, something around your home or in nature. And the reason I'm asking you to describe it is because you might choose something, but it might have a variety of pitches. For example, a piano. A piano can have a low pitch and a high pitch. So being able to describe it also makes me also helps me understand whether you understand the terminology of pitch. Once you've done task one, we move to task two, which is analyzing a song. So for task two, I would like you to listen to The Times They Are A Changing by Bob Dylan. And then for each question below, underline the correct description for this song and write a sentence about the effect this has. And I've done question one for you. So I'll look at question one. Question one, the texture is thin slash thick. So as you can see, I've underlined thin. So I've written, I've suggested that the texture is thin. And then because of this, and then I've written, the song feels personal as if you might hear it around a campfire. So altogether that would come out as the texture is thin. Because of this, the song sounds personal as if you might hear it around a campfire. So listening to Times of Changing by Bob, by Bob Dylan, and that is the uh, conclusion that I have come to. Uh, then you've got questions two, three, four, five, six, and 7. And as you get uh, further down the questions, you'll need to give more individualised answers to the last few questions. So it's starting to see more of your opinion uh, in these answers. Uh, thank you for listening. Please complete those two tasks and upload them to class charts. Thank you very much.